Well, thank you and good afternoon. It's an honor for us to be here at uh, Mrs. Obama's invitation to highlight some of the new and unique pieces in the White House collection. For those not familiar with the White House Historical Association, it's a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization that was founded by Mrs. Kennedy uh, nearly a half century ago. And our mission over the past 10 administrations has been to support the White House in acquiring objects of fine art such as those that we will celebrate today. And we work to maintain these beautiful state rooms which serve as a nation's ceremonial stage for the President and First Lady to welcome official visitors from around the world. We've been delighted to work with Mrs. Obama. Her devotion to showcasing the best in fine and decorative arts will be enjoyed by her successors as well, of course, by future generations of Americans. Central to our mission is education, teaching and telling the stories of the White House history over the past 216 years. Our educational outreach extends not only to students, but to all Americans and to others around the world who have an interest in knowing more about America's house. We thank Mrs. Obama for her support of our educational programs, including the successful launch of the White House Visitor Center, where she was the very first visitor. This afternoon, knowledgeable experts will be positioned throughout the White House near each of the works of art for the artists that we study today. But I'd like to mention one artist in a category of his own, and that's Aaron Schickler. He's contributed to the White House collection no th fewer than three iconic works that are on prominent display. We will never forget his powerful portrait of John F. Kennedy. It hangs in the cross hall and reminds us of the tragedy and unrealized dreams of a president who died too young. Erin Schickler's portrait of Jacqueline Kennedy downstairs in the Vermeil Room captures her beauty and her sadness in a way that we will forever remember her for both qualities. And a generation later, Erin Schickler came back to the White House. His portrait of Nancy Reagan hanging in the East Wing lobby perfectly captures both her glamour and mystique in his final contribution to the White House collection. Aaron Schickler died this past year at the age of 93, actively painting until his very last day. But we are delighted to be joined by his daughter, Kathy, who has come to New York, from New York to be with us today. Thank you, Kathy. As we celebrate the works of these great American artists, it's wonderful to see the special groups of students from art programs around the country who are with us here today. Their interest in the White House, its collection, and how these works tell our history is an inspiration to all of us. And we look forward to hopefully the day where some of their works might hang in the White House. Well, among her many uh, accomplishments as First Lady, Michelle Obama has taken an active role in bringing important new pieces into the White House art collection. Mrs. Obama's commitment was clear from the start. In fact, just weeks into the administration, February 2009, the new First Lady invited a group of us from the White House Historical Association over to the East Wing to talk about things she might do for the White House and its collection. Well, now, nearly eight years later, as her historic years at the White House draw to a close, we are indeed grateful for the privilege of having worked with her and to have witnessed the many tremendous things that she has done. Please join me in extending our appreciation to the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much. <laughs> you all rest yourselves. You've got a lot of art to look at, so I don't want you to get tired. Well, welcome everyone, welcome to the White House. Uh, I'm not gonna speak long because I wanna give you plenty of time to enjoy the house, but let me start by thanking Fred, uh, not just for that kind introduction, but for the years of partnering, your passion, your leadership. It has truly been a pleasure to work with you uh, and the entire committee, so I'm so grateful to you. Uh, I also want to acknowledge Lucy Johnson, who is here with us. There is Lucy. Lucy Johnson. <laughs> Lucy, I'm always thrilled when you can come back, so thank you for being here. 
Uh, I have to take a moment to acknowledge the one and only Bill Allman. I know. Bill doesn't like, he's turning red already. But we all love Bill, and his knowledge of this house is astounding. Um, it has just been a joy uh, to call you a friend, a part of our family. Uh, you are a true treasure uh, to this nation, and I don't think many people know how valuable you are, how much knowledge you have up in that brain of yours, but it's just been fun to get to know you, uh, and I'm going to miss you. Uh, but. Uh, we got a few more months, right? Uh, I want to uh, recognize and thank the White House Historical Association board members who were here and those who are not, the Preservation Committee members who are here. And of course, I understand we have some wonderful college students who are joining us today. Where are you guys? Stand up so I know where you are. There you are. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> you look good. All right, I've embarrassed you enough to. Have you been having a good time? Yes. Yeah, a little. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got a chance to say hello to you. You guys are the next generation, so it's terrific when we get to have you here in the house and you get to hear all the wisdom because it's going to be you who will be standing and sitting in these seats in the future. So enjoy. You got big shoes to fill. Uh, now, normally, Barack and I get a little nervous when we host a big event with lots of food and drinks around the artwork. <laughs> After all, we're moving out soon, and as I've said, we've got to get our security deposit back. So. <laughs> but something tells me that we don't have to worry about much with this group. Uh, and of course, the truth is that while my family might live upstairs, this beautiful home this house, the people's house, belongs to every American. And we all have a stake in the history that happened here, from uh, Dolly Madison saving uh, this amazing Gilbert Stewart portrait of George Washington from that fire, uh, to Lincoln pacing these halls while saving our nation, uh, to a 32-year-old Jacqueline Kenny Kennedy taking us on uh, a national televised tour and that's why for decades, the White House Historical Association has taken the lead in protecting and strengthening the legacy of this extraordinary home. Uh, from raising funds uh, to running educational programs for young people like the ones here who have been hanging out with us today. And from the day my family got here, we've tried our best to further this mission by opening up the White House to as many people from as many backgrounds as possible. And you all have worked with us side by side all the way. Uh, over the years, we have welcomed four million guests for bu public tours. And you all brought your shop back to the bookseller's library downstairs and offered our guests educational materials, ornaments, and keepsakes. When we planted a vegetable garden on the South Lawn and invited students to harvest it, you created gardening and seed kits that inspired them to go home and plant gardens of their own. You helped us add new drapes and chairs to the state dining room and refresh the walls of the blue room. And just last year, we were proud to unveil our 11-piece state China service, Obama China, <laughs> <laughs> which can be integrated with prior settings to highlight and also extend the entire collection. And when we decided to expand our collection of 20th century art and recognize a wide range of American artists in these rooms, you all rolled up your sleeves and got to work. It's no accident that during meetings in my office in the East Wing that we sit next to a Rothko uh, or that folks sitting in the Oval Office or visiting can spot modern Native American pottery on the bookshelves or works by Edward Hopper on the wall. As many of you know, the president and I, we are true art lovers. Uh, we don't know as much as some of our friends do, but we hope when we get out of here, we'll learn a little bit more. But we think that all of our country's great artists have a place within these walls. 
And that's why in one of our very first preservation committee meetings, I asked Bill Allman and some of our other members what it would take to turn the old family dining room into the first White House room devoted entirely to 20th century art. And I understand the students, you guys held your panel there today, pretty cool, right? <laughs> but we knew that that wouldn't be easy, uh, that we would need support from generous donors and museum foundations, and we'd also need a lot of guidance from experts. But that didn't stop you all. You all stepped up and delivered in ways that I could have never dreamed of. And today, the old family dining room is a highlight of the public tour and an enduring tribute to modern artists. From the Art Deco tea service, to the woven rug, to the stunning painting by Alma Thomas, who, by the way, is the first African-American woman to have her artwork featured in this home. <laughs> It's a beautiful space, and it turned out well. And as Mrs. Kennedy put it in that televised tour all those years ago, she said, this house should always have all of the history of our country in it. And thanks to all of you, uh, today it does. And together we added some new touches, and we preserved the proud history and character of this house for future generations. And more than anything else, that's really why we're here today, because we all know that this work isn't just about one administration. First families are all just temporary residents in this house, and it's our job to take care of this place so that our grandchildren and their grandchildren can admire and enjoy this home as much as we have. And we couldn't have done it without all of you. So today, I want to end as I started by thanking you for everything you've done for the White House and for the country. So I want you to enjoy your time here today. Uh, spend some time in these wonderful rooms. Take your time. Uh, take in all the beautiful artwork. And, and I hope you just have a wonderful afternoon. Um, I'm going to get out of the way so you can get that done. And I'm going to turn this stage over to Bill Allman, who will direct you. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this has been just a pleasure to take care of this house, and I hope that you're proud of all we've done this year, or this, this administration. Thank you.